these different gene or gene products. So now uh, let's come to the summary of it. So what is the quorum sensing in bacteria in few words? Bacteria talk to each other. This is the first thing via the chemical signals or chemical messengers like we call it the auto inducer. They have multiple languages uh, for example. Uh, there are multiple languages like they have intra uh, uh, in si signaling they have interspecies communication. What is the type of intraspecies communication uh, with the help of auto inducer one pathway where one bacteria communicate with uh, the same bacteria of the same family and what is the interspecies communication this type of communication is carried out by auto inducer two pathway where one uh, bacteria one type of bacteria is, uh, is triggers or creates some signal which helps to communicate with another bacteria of another different family and bacteria distinguish self from other bacteria so via this quorum sensing technique that's a very very important part of the quorum sensing okay okay and many more molecules remain to be discovered because this is the only 10 to 15 years of research and finally end up with something like that so you, you do generally do not find information in book because this is really really new very new topic so uh, this is a very very important region for active research in the future generations so we need to find which molecule does what and what is the present what is the necessity of the molecule throughout this quorum sensing system and quorum sensing allows bacteria to be multicellular similar to higher organisms why because in higher organisms they'll communicate via different endocrine si signaling or paracrine signaling and all different synaptic signaling like that but in case of quorum sensing the one bacteria can interact with another bacteria to finally make a colony which we call a biofilm uh, 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 with the help of this quorum sensing techniques okay so quorum sensing is an active area of research now all the time and we need to learn more about quorum sensing why because if we know about the quorum sensing then we can make or we can we can produce some drugs that will block the effectiveness of this quorum sensing the effectiveness of, of communication of bacteria inter intercommunication of bacteria and when we can block this communication the bacterial cells do not know whether they need to thrive any violence factor we need to push any uh, toxic material into the outside or not so they will diminish they can be killed by only knowing the mechanism of quorum sensing techniques and as well as not only know the quorum sensing te techniques via this but we also uh, by understanding the quorum sensing techniques we can find some bacteria which are having the anti quorum sensing sensing strategies because bacteria are ancient than as us bacteria are really really senior citizens so they come uh, into this planet many years ago than us so there may be different bacteria cells or bacteria which will produce any different techniques to fight against the quorum sensing mechanism to invade to block the invasion of uh, other types of pathogens for example here we have one pathogen it will make a quorum sensing strategy but this other pathogen which is pathogen B uh, a, do not want this A to communicate with other pathogen so it will block the action of uh, this pathogen A and we need to learn the, this kind of anti quorum sensing strategies which already exists in the nature naturally if we derive these techniques if we derive those molecules which helps them to block this quorum sensing procedure then we can uh, we can block the formation of biofilms in regions like our tooth uh, and all these places like that okay so finally so this is an active research area nowadays and many many uh, years to go many many things to, to be discovered so this is the open area of research and uh, and that's the whole that's in the whole is the basic idea about the quorum sensing this is a very minute area or summary of quorum sensing what I have discussed uh, but still uh, it's gonna help uh, to esta establish the understanding of quorum sensing and how the quorum sensing affect all the systems uh, thank you for listening I hope that's gonna help you